certain complication has come to my attention that we must discuss. I'll be waiting at Tilda's. It's proven to be a useful headquarters for my inquiries into the Zenith base. And don't worry. I haven't disturbed her precious art. Fine. I'll be there when I can. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes, it appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Well, I believe our best option is to unearth powerful technologies from the Zenith to the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. Surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It would be a long search, I fear. So Landra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base, but he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old-world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Although he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. So where do you think Londra went? The coast far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores, but a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles, a hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company, Heaven Sent, was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other Zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. 
If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. 